Welcome aboard one of China's most remarkable train journeys, from the cultural heart of Sichuan, Chengdu, to the mountainous metropolis of Chongqing. This railway not only connects two of China's most dynamic cities but also threads through a landscape rich in history, engineering marvels, and natural beauty. Today, we're diving deep into this iconic route, uncovering the lesser-known facts that make it a journey like no other. Historical Significance The Chengdu to Chongqing Railway has been a crucial artery since its completion in 1952. But did you know that the idea of connecting these two cities by rail was first proposed as early as the 1930s? The original plan was delayed due to the tumultuous political environment and the outbreak of the Second Sino-Japanese War. When construction finally began in 1950, it marked one of the first major railway projects of the People's Republic of China. Engineers faced immense challenges, including the rugged terrain and the need to blast through mountains, but their perseverance paid off, creating a lifeline that would drastically reduce travel time between the two cities from several days to just a few hours. The Scenic Route While the journey is an engineering triumph, it's also a visual feast. But what many travelers don't realize is that the route passes through one of the most biodiverse regions in China. The railway skirts the edge of the Sichuan Basin, offering glimpses of the Changlai Mountains, home to the famous Sichuan giant panda sanctuaries. The fertile plains and misty valleys you see are part of what makes this area a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Little Known Facts Now, let's delve into some lesser-known aspects of this railway. Did you know that this line has an important military significance? During its construction, strategic tunnels and bridges were designed to be easily destroyed in case of an invasion, effectively stalling enemy forces. Another intriguing fact is that the Chengdu to Chongqing Railway was a testbed for various railway technologies in China, including early experiments with electrification in the 1970s. The success of these experiments laid the groundwork for the electrified railways that now crisscross the country. Modern Upgrades Today, the Chengdu to Chongqing Railway has undergone significant upgrades. The most notable is the Chengdu Chongqing High Speed Railway, which opened in 2015. This modern marvel cuts the travel time between the two cities to just over an hour and a half, reaching speeds of up to 300 km per hour. However, even with this new line, the original railway remains in operation, serving as a vital link for cargo and regional trains. The Secret Military Bases During the Cold War era, the Chengdu to Chongqing Railway played a crucial role in China's defense strategy. Hidden along the route, especially in the mountainous regions, were secret military bases and storage facilities. These were strategically placed to be easily accessible yet concealed from potential aerial surveillance. The railway's importance in national defense meant that it was guarded closely, with certain sections being off-limits to the public during that time. The role in the Great Leap Forward In the late 1950s, during China's Great Leap Forward, the Chengdu to Chongqing Railway was instrumental in transporting raw materials and machinery for the country's rapid industrialization efforts. However, this period also saw immense pressure on the railway system, as the push for increased production led to overuse and even breakdowns in parts of the railway. The lessons learned from these challenges later influenced the modernization of China's rail network. The Forgotten Passenger Experience In the early days of the Chengdu to Chongqing Railway, travel was a luxurious experience for the time. The trains featured soft sleeper cars with wooden interiors, and passengers were served hot meals made from fresh local ingredients. However, during the Cultural Revolution, many of these amenities were stripped away as the focus shifted to mass transportation. It wasn't until the late 1980s that comfort began to return to the passenger experience, with the introduction of air-conditioned coaches and dining cars. The floating railway station 
One of the lesser known challenges of the Chengdu to Chongqing Railway is the frequent flooding in certain areas, particularly around the Tojang River. In the 1960s, a railway station along this route was famously dubbed the floating station, because it would often be surrounded by water during the rainy season. Ingenious engineers designed the station and tracks to withstand these floods, allowing operations to continue even when the surrounding area was submerged. The Transformation During the Reform Era The Chengdu to Chongqing Railway saw significant transformations during the economic reforms of the 1980s and 1990s. With the opening up of China's economy, the railway became a vital corridor for transporting goods between the interior provinces and the coast. This period also saw the modernization of the line, with old steam locomotives being replaced by diesel and electric ones, and the infrastructure being upgraded to handle higher traffic volumes. The Role in Sichuan's Earthquake Recovery after the devastating Wenchuan earthquake in 2008, the Chengdu to Chongqing Railway played a critical role in the recovery efforts. The railway was one of the few transportation links still operational after the quake, enabling the rapid delivery of aid, supplies, and rescue personnel to the affected regions. The railway's resilience during this disaster highlighted its importance not just for daily commutes but as a lifeline in times of crisis. The role in the Sichuan-Tibet railway plans, while the Chengdu to Chongqing railway is a vital connection between two major cities, it also holds strategic significance for China's long-term infrastructure goals. This railway is often considered a key starting point for the ambitious Sichuan-Tibet railway, a project aimed at connecting Chengdu with Lhasa. The experience and engineering techniques developed during the construction and operation of the Chengdu to Chongqing line have provided valuable insights for tackling the even more challenging terrain that lies ahead in Tibet. The railway's impact on local cuisine, the Chengdu to Chongqing railway has had an unexpected influence on the culinary landscape of the region. As the railway facilitated faster travel between Chengdu and Chongqing, it also allowed for the quicker exchange of ingredients and culinary techniques. The Railway's Role in the Tea Trade Sichuan is famous for its tea, and the Chengdu to Chongqing Railway has played a crucial role in the tea trade for decades. Historically, Sichuan tea was transported to Chongqing and then shipped down the Yangtze River to other parts of China and even abroad. The railway provided a faster and more reliable means of transport, significantly boosting the tea trade. To this day, you can find specialized cargo trains that carry nothing but tea leaves from the fertile regions around Chengdu to Chongqing's ports. Environmental Challenges and Solutions Constructing and maintaining the Chengdu to Chongqing Railway has always been a battle against nature. The region is prone to landslides, especially during the rainy season, which pose significant risks to the railway. To counter these threats, engineers have developed innovative solutions, such as advanced monitoring systems to detect early signs of landslides and the construction of protective tunnels and barriers. Additionally, efforts have been made to minimize the railway's environmental impact, including wildlife crossings and reforestation projects along the route. The Cultural Revolution's Impact on the Railway During the Cultural Revolution, the Chengdu to Chongqing Railway was a focal point for the movement's industrial policies. The railway was used to transport raw materials for new factories being built in the region, many of which were part of the Third Front, a strategy to build industrial bases in the interior of China for defense purposes. However, the intense focus on production often led to overloading and frequent breakdowns on the railway. This period also saw a shift in the workforce, with many young people from urban areas sent to work on the railway as part of the Down to the Countryside movement. The Influence on Sichuan Opera Sichuan Opera, known for its distinctive, face-changing performances, has a special connection to the Chengdu to Chongqing Railway. 
Traveling opera troupes often use the railway to perform in towns and villages along the route, bringing this traditional art form to a wider audience. These performances were not just entertainment but also a means of cultural exchange, with opera songs and stories often reflecting the experiences of the people and the landscapes they encountered along the railway. Some of the most famous Sichuan opera performers even incorporated elements of railway life into their acts, making it a beloved theme in the region. The Railway and the Giant Panda Sichuan is home to the giant panda, one of the world's most beloved and endangered species. The Chengdu to Chongqing Railway runs near several key panda habitats, including the famous Wulong National Nature Reserve. During the planning stages, environmentalists raised concerns about the railway's potential impact on panda populations. To address this, special measures were implemented, such as creating tunnels that minimize disruption to the panda's natural environment and constructing sound barriers to reduce noise pollution. These efforts have been crucial in ensuring that the pandas continue to thrive despite the proximity of the railway. The Railway's Role in Migrant Labor Movements In the late 20th and early 21st centuries, the Chengdu to Chongqing Railway became a critical artery for the movement of migrant labor. As China's economy began to boom, many people from rural areas in Sichuan traveled to Chongqing and beyond in search of work. The railway provided an affordable and efficient way for these workers to reach the burgeoning factories and construction sites. This mass movement of people not only transformed Chongqing into a megacity but also had a profound impact on the social and economic dynamics of the entire region. The Railway and the Red Tourism Phenomenon the Chengdu to Chongqing Railway has become a key route for red tourism, a form of tourism that focuses on sites significant to China's communist history. Along the railway, travelers can visit several important revolutionary sites, such as the former headquarters of the Red Army in Sunyi and the Chongqing War of Liberation Memorial. These sites attract millions of visitors each year, particularly during national holidays, as people seek to connect with the country's revolutionary past. The railway has thus played a significant role in promoting this unique form of cultural tourism. The Impact of the Yangtze River Floods The Chengdu to Chongqing Railway has faced numerous challenges from the Yangtze River, which flows through Chongqing and is prone to severe flooding. During major floods, parts of the railway have been submerged, disrupting services and causing significant delays. However, the railway has also been a vital lifeline during these times, transporting emergency supplies and rescue teams to affected areas. After particularly devastating floods in the 1990s, sections of the railway were elevated, and additional flood defenses were constructed to protect this crucial link between Chengdu and Chongqing. The Role in the Birth of Chongqing's Monorail System Chongqing is famous for its unique monorail system, which winds through the city's mountainous terrain and even passes through buildings. But few people know that the success of the Chengdu to Chongqing Railway influenced the development of this modern transport marvel. The railway's ability to navigate challenging terrain inspired Chongqing's city planners to pursue innovative solutions for urban transportation. Engineers who worked on the railway were later consulted in the design of the monorail, applying their expertise in overcoming the region's geographical obstacles. The Forgotten Ghost Stations Over the decades, the Chengdu to Chongqing Railway has seen several stations fall into disuse, earning them the eerie title of Ghost Stations. These stations were once bustling hubs for local communities but were abandoned as new, faster routes were developed or as populations moved away. Today, these forgotten stations stand as silent witnesses to the past, with some even becoming unofficial tourist attractions for those seeking to explore a piece of history that's been left behind.
The Railway's Influence on Regional Dialects The Chengdu to Chongqing Railway has had a subtle but significant impact on the region's linguistic landscape. As people travel more frequently between Chengdu and Chongqing, the distinct dialects of the two cities began to influence each other. In particular, the Chengdu dialect, known for its softer tones, began to incorporate elements of the harsher, more rapid Chongqing dialect. This blending of linguistic traits is a direct result of the increased interaction facilitated by the railway, making it a unique example of how transportation can shape language. The Railway's Role in the Sichuan Wine Industry Sichuan is known for its wine, particularly rice wine, which has been produced in the region for centuries. The Chengdu to Chongqing Railway has played a crucial role in the distribution of this local specialty, connecting vineyards and distilleries in rural areas to urban markets. The railway has enabled the Sichuan wine industry to expand beyond the region, with shipments regularly sent to other parts of China and even exported internationally. This connection has not only boosted the local economy but also helped preserve traditional winemaking practices in the region. The railway's role in promoting silk exports, Sichuan has been a significant player in the Chinese silk industry for centuries, with Chengdu historically known as the silk capital. The Chengdu to Chongqing Railway played a crucial role in reviving and promoting silk exports in the 20th century. After the railway was established, it became much easier to transport high-quality silk from Chengdu to Chongqing, where it was then shipped to other parts of China and abroad. This railway line helped modernize the silk trade, connecting traditional silk weavers to global markets and ensuring the survival of this ancient craft. The mysterious abandoned tunnel projects the Chengdu to Chongqing Railway is dotted with several abandoned tunnel projects, remnants of earlier construction plans that were either altered or halted due to engineering challenges. These unfinished tunnels are rarely talked about but are fascinating relics of the early days of railway construction. Some of these tunnels were abandoned due to unexpected geological conditions, such as unstable rock formations or underground water streams. Today, these mysterious tunnels are hidden by vegetation and largely forgotten, offering a glimpse into the difficulties faced by the early railway builders. The Role in the Spread of Traditional Medicine Sichuan is a hub for traditional Chinese medicine, known for its rich variety of medicinal herbs and remedies. The Chengdu to Chongqing Railway has been instrumental in the distribution of these traditional medicines, connecting rural areas where herbs are cultivated to urban centers where they are processed and sold. The railway has facilitated the spread of Sichuan's traditional medicine practices across China, making it easier for practitioners in other regions to access high-quality ingredients from the province. This has helped preserve and promote traditional Chinese medicine, ensuring that it continues to play a vital role in healthcare today. The Railway's Influence on Urban Planning the construction of the Chengdu to Chongqing Railway had a significant impact on urban planning in both cities. In Chengdu, the railway spurred the development of new residential and industrial areas around the train stations, leading to the city's rapid expansion in the mid-20th century. Similarly, in Chongqing, the railway influenced the layout of the city's infrastructure, with roads and bridges designed to integrate seamlessly with the railway network. This strategic planning has allowed both cities to grow in a way that supports efficient transportation and connectivity, contributing to their status as major economic hubs in western China. The railway's hidden role in smuggling operations, while the Chengdu to Chongqing Railway has primarily served as a legitimate means of transportation, it has also been exploited by smugglers over the years. During certain periods, particularly in the early 20th century and again during the Cultural Revolution, the railway was used to transport contraband goods, including antiques, opium, and even rare animals. Smugglers would take advantage of the railway's extensive network and remote sections to move their illicit cargo between cities undetected. Railway authorities have since tightened security, but these hidden chapters in the railway's history reveal a darker side to its legacy. Whether you're a history buff, an engineering enthusiast, or a nature lover, 
the Chengdu to Chongqing Railway offers something for everyone. It's a journey through time, across stunning landscapes, and through the heart of China's rapid development. So next time you board this train, remember, there's more to this ride than meets the eye.